Okay friends, now the Ubuntu 23.04 Lunar has uh, released, is in beta right now. I have installed in my machine and I want to show you how to set up for web development. So let's start and first I'm going to install the C shell and oh my Zwift. So let's open the terminal. And here I'm going to say first sudo apt update add the password and hit enter okay now let's close this and let's say also sudo apt upgrade very good now I'm going to say sudo apt install I'm going to install the build essential and also I'm going to install the curl so let's install curl, also the file and git in one go. Let's say enter. Yes. Okay. Now let's install the Z shell. So I'm going to say sudo apt install C shell and hit enter. Let's say yes also here. Very good. Now I'm going to install also the sudo apt install the git core, git dash core here. And now let's uh, go in the on my Zwish. Go to the install on my Zwish here and copy this command. Copy that and navigate in the terminal, paste that in hit enter uh, time to change your default shell to this shell say yes enter add the password and now we are in the this shell here if i say this shell dash dash version yeah good now let's see if we have a uh, the python installed by default so if i say python 3 yeah we have python installed good let's clear this and now let's install node.js if you have ubuntu 22.10 you can install by go here in the node.js.org go to downloads and uh, install node.js via package manager choose Debian and Ubuntu and go here to the GitHub repository. But for this version, because it's in beta, it's not, uh, it's not working. So here you can go to the installation and just copy this command and install. I'm going to install the Node.js through the NVM. So let's hit enter by passing this command you can pause the video and write that okay okay now if we say command dash v nvm yeah if you don't see the nvm just uh, close and open again the terminal and now you can say nvm and if i hit enter yeah say nvm install or nvm install node and it's going to install the latest available version so let's say this hit enter and as you can see it's going to install the version 20. good let's close and let's say node dash dash version now we have version 20 if i say also the npm we have npm installed good now next thing is to install the apache i'm going to install the apache just to have here because next uh i'm going to install the laravel valet which is going to install the nginx so to install apache we can say sudo 
up and let's say sudo up update first because we have installed uh, node.js okay and now let's say sudo up install apache2 apache2 hit enter say yes and enter Good. Now, if I say sudo system ctl for uh, status of Apache 2, uh, sorry, status like this, and yeah, it's active. Good. Clear this, and now let's install the PHP. If I say sudo apt install php it's going to install the php version 8.1 but because we are going to in this channel i work a lot with laravel we need also some extensions and what i'm going to do i'm going to install in one go all the extensions paste anyway and as you can see we have sudo apt install php 8.1 php 8.1 cli common, curl, uh, postgres sql, fpm and so on, mysql, opcache, swap, xml and zip. Now you can uh, stop the video and pause the video and see all the extensions. Then hit enter. Yeah, we need to say yes. Okay, now the package is installed. If I say php dash dash version, hit enter, we have the PHP 8.1. Good, and also if I go on the browser, and say here, localhost, we have the Apache 2, good. Next thing is to install the composer. So go here, go to the download, and let's copy one by one the lines of code here and open the terminal and paste it here. Hit enter. Okay, then copy this one. Paste it here, hit enter, install verified. Copy this one now. The same thing. And we can use by saying php composer.far, but we need to change that now just copy this and paste it here good clear then copy this code which is going to move the composer file to user local bin composer and we can just say composer now if i say composer here it's working and if i close and open again the terminal okay so if i say composer again everything works. So we have the composer, now let's install the MySQL. So I'm going to say first sudo up update. Let's say also sudo apt upgrade. Good. And next I'm going to say sudo apt install MySQL dash server. Hit enter. We need to say yes, enter, okay. Let's say sudo mysql, hit enter. Yeah, we are here. Now I'm going to say enter user and for the user root at localhost. Okay, I'm going to identify it with so identified with mysql underscore not even password and say by password now here add your password and we just i'm saying here password string and hit enter okay now if i exit from here and uh, let's say sudo 
sort of like this system ctl and say status for the mysql yeah is active good now we can install also the uh, php my admin but what i want is to install a uh, tables plus so here i'm going to close this and open the search for tables plus download go to this one and yeah here we have linux beta release let's click linux installation let's copy this command and paste it in the terminal hit enter then we need to add table plus key so let's copy and paste here also then add repository by saying by copy this command hit enter okay and then we need to say sudo up update and install the tables plus okay so let's say sudo apt update and now sudo apt install table plus say yes okay if i search for table plus and open here it is now let's give it a name i'm going to say uh, just laravel here and mysql local database host is going to be localhost user is root and the password is the password we added in my case is password and just test this connection is okay and now let's connect good if i open we can create a new database so let's say a blog say okay and let's open the blog and yeah here we have good now we have also the table plus let's uh, start with uh, laravel valle if you search for laravel valle linux and go to this uh, website i'm going to zoom it here and let's install the laravel valle for linux with the composer so composer global require and the package name copy and paste in the terminal hit enter okay and now if we say uh, valid install so let's just copy this and paste it here hit enter uh, yeah we have a command not found because so let's close this and let's say uh, vim as src because we need to add something uh, yeah we don't have vim so let's say sudo apt install vim let's install vim first add the password yes okay now let's say uh, vim as src and here i want to add this line of code so export path dollar sign home slash dot config composer vendor bin and add the path now save this so escape w uh, colon w q hit enter and also let's say source as src now if i say uh, valet valet install we have missing some dependencies and we need to go to this uh, url so i'm going to paste that url and we need to run this one so copy this uh, line open the terminal and paste it here hit enter we need to say yes and enter okay now if we try again to say valid install is in, not install the nginx and it's going to install that and it's going to install the laravel valid for linux 
Next, we need to install the Laravel installer. So let's go to the Laravel website and scroll down. And here we have the Laravel Compose the global require Laravel slash installer to install the Laravel. And then we need just to say Laravel new and the name of the project. Okay, so we have a valid install successfully. Let's uh, copy this command and paste it here. Hit enter. Good. If I say Laravel, yeah. And if I close and open again the terminal, so if I say again Laravel here, yeah. Okay, now let's make a directory, sites, and I'm going to cd in the sites directory and create new Laravel project by saying Laravel, new, and let's say blog here, hit enter, and as you can see, it's going to create the project. Good, now the project is created if I say ls inside so we have block and now what I'm going to do because I am inside the sites directory I'm going to say valet park okay with that now if I open the browser and let's say blog dot test hit enter you can see we have Apache to default page we need to change that we need to stop the Apache and start the nginx so open the terminal and say sudo system ctl status for the apache apache 2 and it's active if i say for the nginx is failed. We need to change that so to stop the Apache and start the Nginx. Let's say stop Apache. And now if I say, yeah, it's inactive the Apache here. Good. Now I want to start to start the Nginx. So I'm going to say sudo systemctl and start nginx if I see the status for nginx now is active and with that also let's say uh, reload here just yeah close this and clean come here and now if I refresh, we have the Laravel project in the blog.test. Let's zoom it. Yeah, here it is. Also, let's navigate in the blog. And now we can say npm install to install the dependencies. Yeah, and also npm run dev okay very good now the last thing is to install the vs code so let's search for vs code download and go to the website we need for debian or ubuntu download that and install the code Okay, so I open with software install and now let's say install, add the password and hit enter. And now here we have the VS code. If I open the terminal and just say this blog inside the blog, I'm going to say code dot. It's going to open that project in the VS code and just let's say trust. And here we have. Okay friends, that's it about this video. I hope you enjoy and see you in the next one. All the best.